Hello, my name is Elisa Rodriguez and this is Arianism Today. Today I'd like to talk about Arianism and the vision that I have for the future of Arianism. I believe that there are many people out there who believe the way we believe, that Arianism is true, that Jesus is not the Father, that Jesus is not a one in the Trinity, and that they all three are co-equal God. Um, but that Jesus is the Son of God and that he is under his own God. Um, I believe that this that there's a need out there, that there's a scattered group of Christians who believe what Arianism says and are just floating around, not attached to any churches, studying on their own, doing their best to have a relationship with God and not be part of the of a group. And we know that the Bible says not to forsake the assembling of ourselves together, uh, as the habit of some is. Um, we should be gathering together on a regular basis, talking about biblical things, teaching each other, sharpening each other, growing with each other. I think that it's important for our younger Christians, Christians who have just barely come into uh, the faith, they need guidance, they need mentors, they need teachers, and I believe that it is a failure on our part if we do not provide that. For them. There are also private needs that Christians who believe the way we be believe need. They may be having marital problems. There may be family problems. There may be deaths in the family. There may be all kinds of issues that need to be, that they need uh, a Christian leader to help them with. And that is our role as leadership, as Christians to get out there and to help our fellow brothers and sisters in the faith. There are things that they need that we can provide, but we're not doing that at the, as yet. We're not organized like other Christians are, and that's unfortunate, and I think that that's something that we need to remedy. So, um, And also, there are other needs. There are needs to find spouses of the same faith. There are Aryan single people out there, men and women, who would like to find a spouse of the same faith. We don't, there's no, you know, it's really hard to do that if you don't grow uh, or, or go to the, a church that has the same faith. Um, also, um, deaths in the family, they, it would be nice for an Aryan to have an Aryan pastor there to officiate something, a marriage, a baptism. Um, these things need to be done in Aryan uh, with an Aryan pastor that you can't do with some other regular guy, um, some Catholic church priest or anything like that. It needs to be done um, according to the um, the needs of the church, according to the the biblical uh, viewpoint of the of the person. And so there's a need out there, you know. Um, last, you know, praying for for someone before they die, counseling their families and just consoling and just being a family member to them is needed. And so what I believe is that we need to just stop not having this anymore. Honestly, I think that it's, we're done. We're, we're, there's no use in preaching the gospel if we're not going to support our family, if we're not going to be one together. And so I think that we need to start looking into and growing into a, forming an organization, forming a hierarchical um, organization that can ordain ministers that can help uh, validify, you know, give validity to um, certain people that we know that they're going to be preaching Arianism correctly. Um, and moving on to establishing this organization, not for power, not for um, to be, you know, leaders, the leaders lorded over other people and all of this, but to provide the Christian uh, the need for that other people have. So um, that's the vision that I had. That's the need that I see. That's the void that I see that we are not filling, that we have not um, established. There's a lot of people, a lot of groups, Facebook groups that I know that have lots of people who believe Arianism, but we don't have a cohesive group. We don't have, we're not together and, 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 and helping out in that area. Facebook posts are great, but we need to establish something more physical and hopefully home-based churches and, and things of that nature, even building churches, it doesn't really matter, but just being able to provide something on a face-to-face -face basis is something that I think is important. And so what I want to do is um, see if it's what 
first of all, see all of the people who would be interested in joining into this effort. First of all, um, strong Christians who know the word, who know the Bible, who know what um, what they can provide for the church in what capacity. And then looking into what it's going to take to organize and make this official. That would in involve, you know, affidavits of establishing a church, um, submitting that to the proper authorities, and making it, uh, you know, making a, um, you know, just setting up the whole organization as it is. And the vision would be that we would organize, that we would have um, teachers and leaders that we can trust to hold the, the true Aryan doctrine or the, the doctrine that we believe in. And we know it doesn't have to be called Arianism as long as we believe what, um, what that means. Um, the word itself is not necessary. And move into um, growing in that area and eventually, you know, with this being able to counsel, being able to teach and being able to encourage one another, uh, being able to ordain, um, being able to um, establish um, this organization, and then eventually, hopefully, getting into making an online school of Arianism to teach others, to disciple others uh, through an online school, um, and making it free. Obviously, we can't charge for for that necessarily. If people want to donate, that's great, but assembling just online teaching uh, and, and helping us to equip others to know the faith, to understand the faith, and to grow into it, and then to, when they're ready and they feel called, to go out and make disciples, start their own home-based church, go on from there. So this is the vision to reach the whole world, grabbing the local community, grabbing your local community, and but having, you know, being ordained, having the paperwork available to where you can go pray for people in, in hospitals, because they won't let you do that unless you're ordained, that you have credentials in that area, um, and that kind of stuff. And, and here's the thing, I know that you can ordain yourself through these these websites that just give you blanket or ordinations. I really don't think that it's going to, I don't want to ordain through a group that is not have Jesus based, you know, and I don't want to be ordained with, um, by some Trinitarian church. Um, although I was before, um, I don't want that because I want to be ordained under Aryan terms. And so the only way to do that and to be pure in our in our faith is to have our our own selves ordain our own and so um this is the vision and to reach the whole world this is the this is the desire of the heart of uh of mine and i feel like that's what god is leading us to do and i'm not saying that uh that i need to be the leader of this group or that i need to be anything i feel like that's what god wants to do and whatever it becomes let it become i'm not interested in being in power or having any of that stuff. I'm interested in God being able to move and that as long as we are under the uh, correct faith and the cor correct um, doctrine, um, I'm, I, I want to, what I want to do, what I want to see, my vision, my hope, my, my dream is to, is to sit in Aryan, in an Aryan church, not preaching, but to sit in an Aryan church as an old man and to hear the Aryan gospel being preached before I, and that's, that's my the, the desire of my heart is to see a pastor who has been there for years uh, and has a congregation of 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 Aryan believing Christians and that the church is established and strong and that people are competent and able to reach out and, and just reach the world with the gospel. That's my desire. That's my heart. Not to be in power, but to be to be able to see that happen before I die. And so um, this is the vision. Um, there is need out there, and we are we need to find uh, a solution to that. So please be in prayer about this. See what you can do, and then email message me, contact me, and, and let's see what we can get going. Um, I'm going to have a uh, GoFundMe website. I'm sorry, not website, but whatever you want to call that, a GoFundMe thing. Um, and you can um, donate in that direction. Um, I think there's a... There's a uh, a guy on a website called uh, Corporation Soul for the Church or something like that, um, and he has some paperwork to file for uh, establishing a church and some other stuff. I believe that he, um, 
I think he's charging like 50 bucks to um, to file that in Michigan, I believe. And then after that, you have the the um, articles of incorporation that you that you have. And then um, after that, you can use that to to do other stuff with. Um, I think that's the first step in establishing a church. I believe that this is the same way that Catholic churches create their their local dio- diocese or, or whatever is that they have um, the corporation soul. They create a corporation soul and the corporation soul says that this one person is going to be um, heading up the, the church and that after he dies, someone else will be the leader. And so that person, whoever it may be, it doesn't have to be me. Um, there are there is um, some people that I have in mind that would be good for that position would be necessarily the the leader of that corporation soul and then um, when they die they have a successor and that's kind of like the way um, the Catholic bishop organization goes that when the bishop dies or is removed that the next would take place of the before and that he'd be the leader of the church not being that he'd be the pope like the pope pope but having one leader. I believe is a biblical model, God being the leader, Jesus being subordinate, um, and on and on and on. Um, not that we would have, I think that the model of having um, so many heads deciding um, is not is not conducive to what church doctrine looks like, where there's one leader, where you had James, the leader of the church in Israel, and on. So, <clears throat> um, I think that this is the best way to go, and if you don't agree, please let me know. But what I want to do is work this out. I know that this is a need that needs to happen. This is a, a void that we don't have in our in our religion, and it needs to be rectified. If if not, I pray that it's rectified. If not through me, through someone, that this would be rectified. And I believe that we should all be unified, though. That there shouldn't be um, that there should be one church that believes Arianism, and not to be split up into. Mil- different little sects underneath because that's just confusion and it's just going to hurt the faith better to have one cohesive faith messianic gentile doesn't matter that we work together and clean up our methodology and our and our establishing our traditions and getting things going in that direction i think that that's best to be one uniform um group as opposed to um some other ones now there is a um, Catholic Church of Arianism. And I have heard of this and it's nothing new to me, but I, I think that there are some things in their doctrine that I don't necessarily agree with. Um, I can't pin them off uh, right at the moment, but there are some things that are concerning to me about what they believe um, as far as what Arius believed and, and what Arianism is and what the thought is in that area. I think some of it um, is close, but it's not the same. And um, we're not going to um, talk about Mary in any way other than that she's a human and not in a special way. But I I think that this is something that we need to start discussing. Um, Please visit me on my Facebook page, Messianic Aryan Assemblies International, and uh, let's have a conversation. I think that it's time that we start to grow together and figure out things that we can do to make this stronger, to make us strong, and to help establish the gospel and establish a network of uh of the body of and so that's it you know give me a call or or send me a message contact me and let's see where we can go with it thank you guys you have a good week bye